I have been waiting so long to finally see this movie. Ever since it was first initially announced, then all the delays and, you know, all the other tons of other crap that happened all throughout this movie's development hell. But last night, it finally came out. I finally got to see it. And, um, wow. If I wasn't already a fan of this franchise before, I sure as heck am now. What's up? What's happening? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Animation Station, your number one stop station for anything and everything animation. And welcome to my long-awaited, super exciting review of Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir the Movie. This is my movie of the year so far. I literally cannot do this movie justice with any word that comes out of my mouth. I know some people are kind of middled and mixed on this movie. Me personally, though, I I adored it. Like Every single second on the screen, I was either crying my eyes out from the deep emotions, laughing at all the great jokes, or just staring in awe of the insanely good animation. This is a fantastic, phenomenal, outstanding film, and I really can't do it justice. So this is really just for the record books, for the archives, and then I'll give it a full-on review with maybe a little bit of spoilers here and there in the top 10 best movies list. Well, top 20, excuse me. The top 20 best movies list. Because um, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and spoil it. Unless Mutant Mayhem is as amazing as I'm thinking it's going to be, this might be number one on that list. That might be controversial, but that's just me. I was first introduced to Miraculous a while ago from a friend of mine, and I ended up really enjoying it. I mean, I had seen little bits and pieces of it before here and there, but it was more from video reviews of it, and they weren't like episode reviews. They were like overall series reviews with no spoilers. And of course, Phantom Shire talking about it in his best girls cartoons list. But what's interesting to me is how many actual male fans there are of this series, myself included. Because despite being mainly aimed at the female demographic, it's not in the least bit pandering. And I've been excited for this movie for a while. I mean, yes, I know that's gone through so much development hell, but point is, it's here, and it is everything I wanted it to be and more, so... I really cannot do it justice with any word that comes out of my mouth. I'm just going to read off my written review, give you guys my final verdict, which is probably the highest I've given to any movie I've ever reviewed on this channel. Yes, it is that good. So, let's, uh, let's talk about it, shall we? So, stellar animation, fantastic voice acting, great action, an unforgettable story of overcoming fear and following your heart. Outstanding writing, sharp character dialogue that's emotionally touching and hilarious go and hilariously goofy at the perfect times when either is necessary. One of the greatest original musical soundtracks I've ever heard that made it feel like a top-tier Pixar movie at times. Yes, I did just make that comparison, and I'm not apologizing for it. Both the instrumental score and the beautiful, emotional, original vocal songs. Seriously, this movie's soundtrack is phenomenal. And yes, I know that a lot of people were surprised it was a musical in the first place. Me personally, I was pleasantly surprised it was a musical. And all the songs were fantastic. There was not a single one I was sitting there rolling my eyes like, blah, 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 end already. You know, there was no scenes like that in this movie. There was no songs like that in this movie. This entire soundtrack was beautiful all the way throughout the vocal tracks, and the amazing instrumental tracks that play in the background during the action scenes. Amazing. Uh, one of... Uh, no, I went over that. A great pace, fantastic characters, a perfect runtime of 100 minutes that doesn't overstay its welcome, deep touching moments that are guaranteed to make you cry in both joy and sadness. Yeah, I cried during this movie, and again, I am not ashamed of admitting it. Powerful messages that hit a much deeper emotional level than you'll ever expect. A ton of twists, loads of references to the series, a beautiful ending giving the fans what they've all been waiting for for years. Not gonna say what it is because this is spoiler free, but yeah. If you're a Miraculous fan, you're gonna be very happy with the ending. 
Lots of amazing character moments, excellent humor, a mature darker edge, a ton of differentiation from the series lore to make it accessible to the newcomers without it feeling in the least bit pandering or contrived. Insanely high rewatchability, and an all-around amazing watch. Aside from one bad fart joke from Plague. You know, Plague and his stinky cheese. That, that's the one joke I did not like. And some product placement for Volkswagens that was already spoiled by both A, the little ad that came out before the movie came out online, and to the Playmates toy, which is literally the Volkswagen as a toy. Yeah. This is, in my personal opinion, a 100% flawless movie. I knew I would enjoy it because of how much I love the series, but I never expected to adore it so much to the point of calling it one of my favorite animated movies of all time. Yes, up there was Zombie Island. It took forever to arrive, but it more than delivered on everything I wanted from it as both a huge fan of the show and as an animation movie fanatic. Best movie of 2023 thus far, cannot recommend it highly enough. Whether you're a lifelong Miraculous fan, a newcomer, or just a fan of love stories and superhero films, you need to see this stellar animation masterpiece. That sums up all my thoughts on this movie perfectly. And, of course, the voice acting's great. It's the main cast of the show, mostly. And then, of course, I have to shout this out because, you know, I'm a Sonic nerd. Uh, Colleen O'Shaughnessy is the voice of Nuru. She does such a stellar job. She's Colleen O'Shaughnessy. I don't need to say more. So yeah, I literally have no big negatives with this movie. It was a great watch all throughout, and honestly it felt longer than it actually is because of how much they were able to put in there without it feeling, you know, over bloated or just crammed in there for the sake of it. In my opinion, this is the best movie of 2023 thus far, and aside from Mutant Mayhem, possibly, I cannot see a single film topping this anytime soon. I had an amazing time with this movie, I had an amazing time watching it, and by the end I was an emotional wreck, but I was more than satisfied. This is an incredible film, and everyone needs to see it. Animation fan or not, it is amazing. It is very much in contention with Nimona for the best movie of the year, and for best animated movie of the year, period. But like I said, we still have Mutant Mayhem coming, so who knows? Maybe this will end up overcoming it, since this is something I am more attached to. But even as a somewhat newcomer to this franchise, despite reviewing two of the seasons already, I love this movie a lot. I literally have little to nothing negative to say about it. Every single thing about the movie worked for me, and I don't care if I'm alone on this hill, I will gladly die on it, because it is a phenomenal movie that everyone needs to see. Watch this movie however you can, whether you see it in theaters, if you live in France, if you, or get a Netflix account, just to see this movie. I literally cannot recommend it highly enough. Huge Kudos to the entire team for putting in such a stellar job. And I guess I'll glow, I'll glow a little bit about the animation before we uh, close off here. The animation in this movie is some of the best indie animation I've ever seen. Like I said, at times it felt like a Pixar film because of the animation style and the textures and just the detail put into every single little thing in the movie. From the fabric to people's clothes to the, you know, individual strands of hair to how the camera swings around during the action scenes. Like, I literally have nothing more to say. Oh, and also another cool little fact I ended up learning while I was doing my season two review of the series. I also found out that Jeremy Zag's a Dragon Ball fan. You got my respect, man. For both that and because of this great franchise that you have created. I cannot recommend this movie highly enough. And definitely check out the show too. I feel like both are more than well worth your time. And they're both on Netflix. Just make sure when you do watch it on Netflix. Look up the actual official episode listing on the Miraculous Wikia. Because the one on Netflix is so screwed up and out of order. It's baffling. 
But yeah, I pretty much rambled on long enough about this movie because if I ramble on anymore, I'm going to end up going into spoilers. So let's just end it off with this. You need to see this movie by any means necessary. And I don't care if you're a fan, a lifelong fan, a newcomer, a superhero fan, a fan of love stories, an animation fanatic, whoever you are, watch this movie now. I literally have nothing more to say. I'm smiling from ear to ear. And I just wish I could go into full spoilers. But I promise you I will do it when I do the best list. So let's get to the final verdict because we still have some other things we got to review today. So my final verdict for Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir the movie is a super high, well-deserved, and first ever for the entirety of the Animation Station and Cynical Scene and YouTube channels, a 12 out of 10. Yes, a 12. Because in my opinion, it is a flawless masterpiece that you need to see now. I literally have nothing more to say. Mutant Mayhem, you have quite the hill to climb if you want to top it. Just saying. But... That's going to be it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned because we're going back on the turtle train because we have another review today. And this one is actually something I've never seen before. Honestly, I kind of forgot it even existed until I was looking up all the movies and specials for Ninja Turtles. And also, by the way, I should also point this out. Um, I am not reviewing those crappy... You know, Turtle Rock Band VHS tapes. No, I, I have my limits, and that is one of them. So, I'll see you next time for my first time watch review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Half Shell Heroes Blast to the Past. It's either going to be something super surprising that I'm going to end up loving, or it's going to be a painfully average special that's very clearly just for the little, little kids. Who knows? I'm excited to check this out. I'm a huge fan of Team NT 2012, and I'm very curious about how this one turned out, especially after the reviews I saw online were pretty positive. So, who knows? Maybe I'll come out loving it. Maybe I'll come out just liking it. Either way, I'll see you next time for Blast to the Past. Cowabunga dudes! Prehistoric style!